hello Twin Flame, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we've moved into fire energy today, Sagittarius energy, happy birthday to any Sagittarians watching and we're moving into this energy of change, so things are shifting now, moving forward, you're going to feel stronger today you're going to feel a shift. So I feel this is the energy moving out of Scorpio, which is connected with water and emotion into this fiery energy of Sagittarius with action. So things are moving forward now with divinely guided action. And the masculines are feeling agitated today because they need to make a change. And they know they need to do this. They're going through lots of emotions and feelings, especially over the last month where they know that they have to put their plans into place. They have to put their plans into action. So they need to take the move. They need to do what they've been guided to do for so long. So because of this, we're going to bring in four powerful decks of cards. The Moonology Oracle, the Witch's Tarot. We're going to bring in Mother Mary to bring in some comforting energy today and the Romance Angels. And I just want to give a big shout out to whomever sent me the Seasons of the Witch Semain Oracle. Really powerful deck. I'm going to be using these later for a pick a pile. Now this is a darker deck. So we're going to do a pick a pile about what you're healing and what they are healing too. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. There's also going to be the weekly reading on and that will cover the general energy for the week ahead and for Twin Flames and I'll be doing the horoscope readings too. And that will cover every sign for the week ahead. We're also going to put on a members reading from the universe about what you need to know for the week ahead. So a lot of content coming in today. So I'm busy today. So let's do this then. So I feel you may be feeling busy. So remember the daily angel message for today. Look at your body. You know, think about your body today. What are your tension levels like? If you're feeling tense today, breathe. Breathing is the key to calming your mind, to calming your energy down, to finding peace, to coming back into the now. And that also goes for in your twin flame journey because the twin flame journey can create this tension. So we have to release, we have to relax, we have to breathe. We have to find peace and center our heart and our feelings and most importantly our emotion. Especially today with all this fiery energy around because you'll feel things moving. So I feel you may have butterflies in the tummy. You know, you may feel like something's coming. You're not sure what but you can feel something. So there may be that excitement there. Or that could be coming across to you as a gripping fear. But you're going to feel something in your body and it's possibly going to be in the tummy area. You know, or like that feeling that you don't know what to do because you can feel something's coming. But you're not sure what it is. So you may feel anxious because of that because it seems out of your control. But you're taking your control because you're standing your ground and you're working out what you want. So you're trusting the universe now. So let's do the cards then, because every day I'm shuffling. So what do we need to know, please, angels? They're also giving me a block throat chakra. It's more a tickle. And, you know, if you're a Leo, I did a Leo reading for December yesterday, and wow, it blew my mind, okay? It's actually available now early for members, but a lot of clearing about the masculines because they regret not putting a ring on your finger, you know, they regret not snapping you up when they could and that really come through in that read and I'm kind of feeling the same energy coming through here so this is a tickle in the throat this is them regretting things they've done and needing to communicate that to you that they regret letting you go that they were silly to let you go that they were silly to behave in that way and they know now they need to really do something about it so this energy we're in now is moving us forward into December with action so thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for the divine feminines? Thank you. There's one coming out there. What do we need to know for the divine masculines? And for the journey, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? Thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for the divine feminines? What do we need to know, please, for the divine feminines? Wow. Okay, I'm taking out what's jumping here. For the divine masculines, there we go. And for the journey. Wow. Look how they're jumping out for the journey, okay? So I'm taking out the ones 
that are jumping towards me here, okay? I'm taking out the ones that are jumping towards me and sticking out. So we've got not many cards for the feminine, the masculine and the tarot, but we've got quite a few for the journey. Really powerful. What do we need to know for the feminines? Thank you, Mother Mary. What do we need to know for the masculines and for the journey? What, wow, look how they're jumping again. If you're learning cards, this is what they do, okay? When you're tapped in with the energy, the cards just kind of jump out of the deck. So I always see it like the angels grabbing the cards and flinging them at you because these are the messages that need to come through. What do we need to know for the feminines, for the divine masculines and for the journey? What do we need to know? Wow, on this Super Sunday, as we move into a new week, and we've got a powerful week coming in, a lot of change, a time to be grateful and to feel good. So look at this for the masculine. It's got angel bumps, you know. It says communication is key. And this is Gemini. And Gemini is the sign of the twins. So this is a sign that they need to communicate, that they intend to communicate, that this is what they want to do. And this week has been all about this. So some of you have received communication this week and some of you haven't. So if you haven't, it doesn't mean it isn't coming. It means it's preparing to come. Your masculine knows full well that communication is the key. They may be a Gemini, you may be a Gemini, or you may have Gemini in your chart, but I feel this is more about the twins. You know, if it feels like you're in separate directions or you're not together, maybe there's, you know, that divide between you. If it feels like they've got their eyes closed and you've got your eyes open, communication is the key. So this is showing you you're going to sort things out and they're giving me this tickle. You know, it's really feeling like something needs to be coughed up. So they need to cough something up, which means they need to cough up their feelings. You know, they need to speak their truth. And right now they're deciding what to do. Okay. And there is a little bit of caution there too. You know, that's Archangel Raziel there, the psychic angel. And he's kind of got his finger up like that. So he's guiding the masculines to make the right decisions, to take the time making these decisions, to not rush anything. So they do it right this time because there's lots they need to get done. So this is why it's taking a little bit of time. So the angels are asking you to trust in divine timing and to trust in the plan. Because heaven can see more of your life path than you. You know, we want things now and we want things done now. And that's also what today's daily message is about. And I spoke about that. You know, sometimes I get like that in our connection being in union. Because I want things done now. And you're just like, it doesn't matter if it's done now or in five minutes, it still gets done. So this is about just letting go. And letting go of control. Because you can't control this love. You know, you can control the way you feel about it because you have that power, but you can't control the timing of it because it's unconditional and you can't put conditions on an unconditional love. You can't put a clock on unconditional love. It's all in the hands of divine timing. So Archangel Raziel is helping the masculines to make the right decision at the right time for the right reasons and helping you to trust in that and to tap in with your psychic side and to understand that everything has a plan. And there's good news coming. You know, when the masculines speak to you and they will, you know, look what he's doing there, he's shouting. You know, he's shouting. It's showing you that he will communicate to you with good news and he's striving towards you. And this is a cat here. You know, this is about strength and independence. This is about moving forward, preparing to pounce on your prey, you know, stalking the prey because cats stalk their prey. You know, you see them and they're walking the like mini lions. So I also feel the masculines are stalking the divine feminine, which means they're watching you. Okay, they're watching you, whether that be on social media or in their own mind, they are watching you, they're stalking you. So they've got their eyes on you, you're their prey. Okay, you're what they are coming towards with good news. This is why it's taking some time because communication is the key and they don't want to cause any more pain. You know, they regret that. That's why they're giving me this tickle in the throat. They regret the pain they've already caused. And they're healing that now. They want to show you their feelings with love and hope and joy and good news. So this is a big sign that good news is coming in. 
I also feel the masculines may receive some good news about their own life that can propel them to you. We've got prayer. So the masculines are praying more now. You know, they're giving it to heaven more now. And I spoke the other day about how they're tapping in with their loved ones in heaven. So they are speaking to them, you know, asking for their help, communicating with them. And it's leading to answered prayer. Instead of worrying, I pray about this situation to bring about real solutions. And that's also a sign for the feminine. So if you're watching this thinking, well, I'm worrying right now. You know, I need answers. I need to know what's going on and I feel anxious. Then the angels are saying to you, instead of worrying about something, pray about it. Pray about this situation to, to bring about real solutions. And you know, the angels say, if you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. And if you've got time to pray, you've got time to breathe, which means relax. And if you've got time to breathe and relax, you've got time to meditate and still your mind to receive the answers. So the masculines are asking for help now. You know, they've been worrying and instead of worrying now, they're asking for help. And we need patience, you know, patience because some of the masculines are trapped in situations. If they're in marriages or situations they need to release themselves from, they are trapped in situations. If there's a divide between you because of the pandemic, then there's something they need to release in their mind to be free. You know, there's things restricting the connection right now. And that's why I'm going to do this, what, what do you need to heal to come into union? And what do you need to heal right now? Pick a power later. Because really, there's no blocks to your union. Okay, everything is moving you where it needs to be. You know, everything is moving things forward. So any restrictions are actually happening to grow the connection. So don't think this journey is, you know, not progressing or there's something in the way. You have to be patient. This is another sign to trust in divine timing. While your masculine frees themselves from their cage or their pen or, you know, going round and round in circles. And this goat here is symbolizing adventure. So this is a big sign that your masculine is ready for an adventure, ready for a new beginning. They just know that they have to jump out of the, this ring they're in, you know, this fenced ring that they are in. And I always feel with this, they always show me in my mind, Mary Poppins. You know, I'm going to the original one, you know, because I am 44, the original one, not the newer one. And in the original one, you know, they're on the carousel and Mary makes the carousel um, free. So, you know, the horses they're on on the carousel, going round on the carousel, jump off the carousel and then they go on an adventure. And that's what I feel, you know, your masculine is preparing to jump out of the carousel, to jump out of this energy, to think outside of the box because with the action energy that's coming in, they're no longer going round and round in circles. You know, in that energy of Scorpio, where they've been in their emotion, just like you have, you know, there's been all this fear and worry and planning going on because they've been going round and round in their mind. They're ready now to take action. So they're ready to propel that forward and put those plans that they've put in place into motion to explore their romantic feelings because they have them for you. You know, they have these romantic feelings for you. So they are real and need exploring. And that's what it says. You know, your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's going to creep up on you. You know, your masculine is going to come towards you and it's going to take you by surprise because they're showing there they're going to come up from behind. So you may not even realize that they're in your area or your vicinity or in your energy until they're right in front of your face because they're behind you coming around you. So this is showing you the stalking you, the thinking of you, the watching you. You are on their mind. Even if you're watching this thinking, I don't believe that, Liz, something in your heart will stir. Something in your tummy will stir because you know it's real and you know it's right and these feelings are real and worth exploring and your masculine wants to do that they don't want to keep going round and round and round and round in this cage you know round and round in circles like a hamster on a wheel they want to break free you know they're giving me that song by queen i want to break free so they want to break free and move towards their their true love which is you you know, their true purpose, their mission, why they're here. And they may do this with playfulness. And this come up yesterday in the pick a parlor I did. You know, playfulness, laughter, light-heartedness. So they may come towards you with playfulness, even in a friendly way. 
and you may want it all to be really passionate and intense and you know all about the connection straight away and it just may not go like that because the masculines don't want pressure they don't want to pressure themselves they don't want to pressure you they just want things to ease in gently so just be light-hearted be playful don't rush anything if your masculine communicates with you just go with the flow you know, don't try and force it into something it's not ready to be. Just have patience, enjoy it and take each moment as it comes because your masculine is changing and shifting and becoming the emperor right now and you have to trust that they will get there and they will express themselves in the way they are guided to do. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is about being grateful enjoying each moment and he says to recapture romance that means to bring it back you know because the feelings are real and they're worth exploring so to recapture the romance keep it light make it playful just enjoy communicating with each other whether that be in the 3d world or in meditation in dreams when you're connecting on the 5d however you're feeling your twit then just keep it light Keep it in the energy of love and it will move forward. So beautiful. So for the feminines then, look at this. Wow, we've got confidence as your key to success. And this is the new moon in Leo. And this is also about things moving forward from, you know, the portal that we went through on the 8-8 energy and then into the 11-11 energy and moving forward into this powerful energy of the 12-12 that we're moving into. And the 21st of December, the winter solstice is bringing in, you know, like a restructure, not just in your connection, but in the world. You know, things are changing. And that's why between now and then, we have to not take things personally because things are changing and shifting and chaos is coming in and the masculines are being propelled forward in whatever capacity that is. So confidence is your key to success. So the angels are saying to you, be confident in this connection. Be confident, don't take things personally. Remember your power as a divine feminine because that's who you are. Your strength, your power, your protection. And if you're thinking about the past and you're wanting your person to move towards you, this is the sign that they are. Okay? Because it's been resurrected right now. Things are moving forward. Things are happening the way they're supposed to in divine time. So this is also another sign to keep it light, to tap in with your inner child, to tune in. So if you're thinking about your masculine today and going over the past, have confidence in the connection. You know, if you think about the past, think about the good things, not the bad things and release any fears because everything is moving where it's meant to be. And this is about action and change. And this is Sagittarius energy. You know, this is where we are now moving forward. So the angels are showing you your journey is moving forward and that you are watched over. And look at this for powerful trust. Trust divine feminine. You know, trust that your masculine is moving towards you. Trust that your journey is moving forward. Trust that everything will be okay with confidence and strength because you are watched over. I allow myself to feel safe. And this is a sign for you. Allow yourself to feel safe and enjoy your life, knowing that heaven is watching over your loved ones and you. So this is a prayer, you know, where you say to heaven, thank you for watching over me. Know that you are safe and trust the journey because confidence is the key. And when you feel confident, you feel safe because you feel safe in the knowledge that it's all where it's meant to be and everything is going to be okay. I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life. So enjoy your life. Enjoy your journey. You've been blessed with this life for a reason. So enjoy it now. Don't wait till you're in union. Or don't wait till tomorrow to enjoy your life. Because you're here to enjoy it now. That's your gift you've been given. So start feeling grateful. Elevate your vibration. And move into the energy of love. Knowing that heaven is watching over you, your loved ones and you. So your loved ones, that's your twin. That's your journey. That's your family, your friends, 
your soul sisters or brothers on this channel. We're all watched over and protected right now. So you have to trust in that. Trust that you're watched over. Trust that you are safe and trust in this love because it's powerful. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So release fear, release doubt, release struggle and replace it with faith. And then you know that your masculine is becoming the creator. And you're looking into each other's eyes there. So this is a sign about commitment, communication and recognition of this love. And you can see there the divine masculine is holding this out, pointing forward. So I feel this as your masculine pointing towards the future, showing you what's to come. And you've got this beautiful little cupid here, blessing the love. All you have to do is trust in the love. And I know it's hard when you're struggling, but the angels will help you because look at this, I've got angel bumps. The energy is gaining momentum. And that's exactly what's happening now in this fresh energy of fire. The energy is gaining momentum and conclusions are within reach. So it's showing you it's coming. It's coming here, especially as we move into this full moon eclipse. And I'm pretty sure there's a lunar eclipse coming at the beginning of December, okay, I'd have to check because the angels give me all these signs in my mind, but I think, I feel like there's an eclipse or something coming in the beginning, there's a definitely a full moon at the beginning of December, but it feels like as we move forward into that energy, the conclusions are within reach, especially as we move into the new year, fresh things happening, so the energy is gaining momentum, and they're giving me a vision in my mind, I mean, there's birds there as well, which signify freedom and movement, but a flock of birds and it, they've just reminded me of this I've had about four or five emails off our soul family with pictures of stags in groups moving forward okay and it's a sign of the collective masculine energy moving forward and I have received one today from one of our soul sisters and it was from Polar Express and obviously it was reindeer but it really looked like a stag on the picture and one of the stags was you know illuminated and light and this is about their growth and their spiritual path that they are being illuminated that they're being moved forward that collectively they are rising up and they are moving forward so it's not just one masculine or two or three it's all of them doing what they need to do to set their hearts free and this is why so many tarot cards jumped out the way they did. Because look at this, what we've got here. We've got the Ace of Wands, which is action and movement. We've got a butterfly in there as well, which is a big sign of transformation and this healing that's going on right now. And the Magician. So this is about taking control to move things forward. So this is both feminine and masculine doing what they need to do. You know, this is you as a divine feminine taking control by trusting the journey, releasing the fear, forgiving them, blessing them, loving them and trusting in when, okay, in when, in when it will be. And this is the masculine's taking control and moving out of that cage or that going round in circles where they jump off that carousel and get ready to explore their new life. So this is movement and change and this butterfly is signifying this transformation that you're now in control, you're taking control because you're realising and they're realising that you have the power to control your life. Nobody else, not even your twin, you, you are the master of your emotion. And that's why it's really important that we think positively and think positive things and set out positive intentions and ask for what we desire. Because there you are as the divine feminine, the empress, the masculine knows that's who you are. Think positively. You are the powerful one. You are strong. You are the nurturer. You are ready. And your crown chakra is awakening. You know, you can see all the stars around the crown chakra there. So crown chakra healing. This is also connected with the soul star chakra. So a lot of healing coming in. I feel Archangel Gabriel's white diamond coming in as well and bringing in healing and purification and cleansing as we move towards the world, which is the new year, the fresh year of 2021. The world is changing, shifting. And the cycles are happening right. So this is about change, seasons, new beginnings. And you can see in here we've got, you know, the divine masculine maturing there. We've got the lion for confidence. We've also got the stag there 
promise of union and we've got the bird there for wisdom freedom and manifesting your dreams so a lot of healing going on you know have patience trust the rainbows there it's all protected there's nothing to fear so allow any conflict energy or doubt to dissipate your masculine is in their emotion because they are coming through as the high priest there and that's about keys to the kingdom opening the doors you know fresh starts coming in We've got honesty. So we have to be honest about the connection. And we've got the feminine energy here too. So the masculines are becoming more honest. They're facing their truth more because they are experiencing their feminine emotion, their feminine energy. And you are experiencing this more. You're plugging into this. You're feeling this. And the energy says, I am in touch with my true feelings regarding this situation. So you know what your true feelings are. And so do they. Okay, this is why you're both feeling it and you know it's real and worth exploring. I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. And remember, when you're in union, you've balanced your energy. And you may be balancing your energy now. So you're experiencing both energies. Maybe you don't know if you're a feminine or a masculine anymore because you're experiencing both energies. And that's how it should be when you're moving towards union. And the masculines feel this too. That's why they feel emotional and a need to protect and a need to, you know, nurture and a need to make a change because they know what they need to do. We've got grace here. I am filled with the same beauty, poison, divine perfection as all of God's other's creation. So this is about peace and healing coming in and taking your time. And we've got children here too. So the energy of children is showing you that if the masculines have got children, they are doing what they need to do to heal the connection, you know, to make sure that they will be okay and that everything will be taken care of when they make these changes. This is also about you two being divine children of God. So this is about your innocence and purity and understanding that, that you're both innocent because you're both healing and teaching, learning and growing and you are divine mirrors of each other. So you're healing each other too. And this can also be a sign to be grateful for what you've got now because more is coming in. So be grateful the way a child is grateful. Grateful for, you know, the love in their life. Grateful for the food on the table. You know, for the toys they play with. So be grateful with a childlike heart. This is also a sign of, you know, some of you will have children in your future. Maybe you've got kids now, but this is a sign of what's to come too. If this is something you want, so be grateful for it now. Everything you're grateful for now will come to fruition. So the angels are reminding you of that. And the message says, my heart is filled with love for children, which creates miracles and positive change for them and me. So if you've got kids, be grateful for them. Tap in with their childlike spirit, their fairy energy, because they are tapped in with magic and the divine. And the angels are saying to you, be grateful. As I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. And this is really powerful, especially as we're moving into the energy of Thanksgiving and, you know, Christmas time and New Year and all these things. We have to be grateful. And gratitude changes everything. You know, people say to me, how can I uplift my mood list? You know, how can I turn my life around? The first step is gratitude. Gratitude is the quickest elixir. The quickest way of turning things around, making things happen, bringing in change and bringing in action. So if you want things to change in your connection, then be grateful for the connection and that will lead to action. Today, I take action related to the priorities that I've previously put off. So the masculines know they've previously put this off and they need to make a change. This is also a sign to get things done, to set intentions, to be grateful and to focus on family. So you're building a family together. You know, you're building something together, a foundation that will lead to a happy home and a loving family. Now that family may be you and them together, building something together, or it could be you and them building a family. You may want kids, you know, you may bring children together from other connections, you know, from their connection, your connection, bringing, you know, kids together. You may have animals as your family 
You know, me and George have got cuddly toys as our family. So you're building a family. And this is about support too, you know, for family situations, bringing people together, support and love, especially with what's going on in the world right now. I pray for my family and give this situation over to God for answers, support and healing. So everything's going over to God right now for support and healing. In other words, the universe has your back. And we've also got marriage there. So there's a big message here about what's coming in the future. And I feel some of you need to know that this is what's coming. You know, maybe you've got doubts, you're wondering what's to come. Because with the magician there and this beautiful ace of wands of movement and change and the conclusions because things are moving forward, it's also showing me a projection of the future and what you have to be patient for as we move into the new year, 2021 and a new beginning. We're looking at marriage for you, family for you, children for you. It's about being grateful now for what's coming in. So the angels are showing you this, is showing you what will happen when you move into union. You know, everything you've been dreaming of coming true. And it says, I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself and my partner. So make a healthy, you know, commitment today to make this a healthy connection. By being grateful, by letting go of blame and fear and trust that all will be well. And that's how they're going to call in your soulmate. Okay. And this card, there's no twin flame card in this deck. So this is calling in your twin flame. You're being called together because you were divine magnets. So it's going to happen in a flirty way. The angels are saying this. And I really picked up on this yesterday when I was doing the pick a pile. You know, things are happening where you're going to be brought together in a flirty way. So if your masculine starts trying to flirt with you, you know, don't take it personally because they're not declaring their love in that moment. Just enjoy the flirt. Just enjoy the energy. Maybe there's someone around you right now that's flirting with you, okay? This could be somebody being guided into your life to make you feel good, to help you to remember your power. So you move into your future with confidence, you know, if someone's flirting with you on social media, you know, and boosting your ego and helping you feel good, that could be a soulmate that's come into your life to help you, you know, feel good. And a soulmate is pretty much everyone else. So we've got our twin flame and then we've got many soul teachers. You know, everyone is a soul teacher to us, a soulmate to us. You know, you're my soulmate because I'm teaching you, you're teaching me. So this isn't about soulmates as in a romantic love even though it could be that, but the angels are saying to me, this is someone who may come into your life to flirt with you, to elevate your mood, to help you to know how special, unique and beautiful and magical and wonderful you are. Someone who'll boost your mood and prepare you with confidence for your power and for union ahead. So this is either going to be the flirty energy around some of you with another person, or it's going to be your masculine coming back towards you in a flirty way. So the angel saying, just enjoy the flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Okay? Extend your light-hearted energy. That means keep it light. When you keep things light, everything feels light. It feels better. They're giving me fear. Thank you. Because you're not bringing fear into the connection. You know, when we meet our twin and we kind of go into the full-blown, you know, full steam ahead power of it and passion of it straight away, it causes fear. And the masculines tend to run because they're overwhelmed with everything again. Whereas if you just take it slow, step by step, just enjoy it, don't force it, let them kind of take the lead with things, then this light-hearted energy just exudes from you. And your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So the angels are reminding you to pray, to talk to heaven, to ask for help, to use affirmations and visualize you two coming together because it all helps now. It all helps, you know, and it's not necessarily really focusing on them and thinking about them. It's just feeling good. Thank you, universe, for loving me, for guiding me, for opening the doors, for showing me the way and for helping me to know that this love is real. And the angels are showing you today this love is real. So trust and keep the faith. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.